Ok, hey what's up guys, so you guys like the last video I made uh, reviewing uh, Bull's game against Renekton so I was thinking I could do the same thing again and this time I'm gonna pick the Darius matchup because the Darius matchup can be interesting and it's a popular champion especially in Loilo so if there's people struggling against him even in like higher Loilo uh, I thought this would be an interesting uh, interesting game to check so Okay, so you can see that he went uh, long sword, but then he decided to refound it for Dwan's Blade, which I think is much better uh, since uh, it gives you HP and stuff. Yeah, it allows you to trade uh, more often in the early game, especially like level 2 and level 3, where you should be winning the matchup. So, Zach starting top, which means that build has to leash, which can be a disadvantage. Holy shit, I can't uh, speak English. So Darius did unleash, which means that he can get the priority if he wants to, but seems like he decided to give it to give it to give it up. So Raven is going to be the one pushing the lane, and he's going to be the one getting level two first. So she's going to slow push. Now we see that Darius started Q, which is actually I like when Darius start Q because it's easier to trade against them and less risky. So. He uses Q again, but Bult dodged it with his Q. And that and that's when he can no normally trade back here. So he's most likely gonna go for a trade, I think. There's no way that he doesn't. Yeah. So here he goes for the trade after dodging the Q because Darius has no Q. And he still had Q available to trade. And uh, as you can see after that, he third Q, but then he disengaged right away instead of doing third Q auto. And that's because he, that's actually the safe call, because right there, if you add one more auto here, Darius can auto attack you after the, the knock up, which will be two stack of passive. And at this point, he can just like ghost on you and, ch and chase you down, which means that you will be losing the trade as Raven here. While actually, if you disengage right away after the third Q without staying in place like for one more auto, you don't take the extra, the extra stack and you avoid getting like ghosted down. So now build gets level two. He takes the stun because once you get level two and you can play aggressively and you are in range for it, then you want to take the stun that allows you to go like to go for the all -in. So right there, he stuns him. He should be able to take a short trade. And technically, he should start to back up right there because Darius just got level two. So that means he got the pull and he can pull build and potentially kill him. So at this moment, you most likely want to disengage right there. Seems like build. Okay, so build went for more. So if we check here, build goes for it. Darius gets level two. Build should maybe disengage right there, but he wants to go for the all-in. But the thing is that if you want to commit so deep onto the uh, into the all-in you have to keep your third Q uh, for after the, the pull. Because right there, that's uh, a mistake Built did, is to use the third Q and get it cancelled with the pull. He's still gonna go for the trade because now he's way too committed into it. And he's gonna sell, no, he's gonna die, okay. So right there, there was two possibilities. Either Built disengage right away once the Darius gets level two, or if he wants to commit for the all-in, he has to hold onto his third Q to up until the Darius uses the pull. Because imagine like right there, imagine that Darius pull him and then Raven third Qs. At this point, Darius will be dead because the third Q would have done like a bit more of damage and then there will be the auto attack that went through. So here, Bill should have gotten the kill if he held onto his 4 Q. That's just a bit unlucky. I'm surprised he did uh, third Q away, because maybe, I don't know. Maybe he panicked or thought that the Darius maybe took W. Because, yeah, I think if he just held his third Q uh, until the pool, that would have been a kill. But I was super close anyway. So here he gets to crash the wave, there, he's gonna set up the vision because he, uh, technically, okay, so technically the grave should be top side, which is the case, because graves start at bot side and we know that because the Darius did not leash. So um, around 250, that's when the graves should be doing the red buff and then he does the Krugs, 
So around like 2.30, it's, he should be like around here going for the, for the Scuttle Crab. So at this point, um, Bult has to play safe. He's gonna stay back until he has the information because he knows that the Graves is he is most likely doing the, the scuttle crow. So what Bill does is that he hides in the bush there because at least they have no information on him. And this way he can get the XP and the, like this is the only way he has to get the XP with most likely dodging the gank. So now he's gonna stay back most likely. He tries to stay in XP range without showing himself or exposing himself to the, to the gank. But now, okay, so we see Darius walking up, so that would maybe mean a gank, but I don't think the Graves will be wasting his time that, that much. And you see that Darius is not playing aggressively anymore. So most likely what happened is that Graves recalled and he went uh, back on like onto his bot side right there. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. He went B and he goes to the bot side. So this, this way he's gonna get his wolves and his gromp and maybe look for a play bot or mid. So now you are safe top, top side. That's when you're, pre you're pretty safe to ganks. So here build just has to wait for the wave to crash in our tower. But he may be trying to hold it. Yeah, he's gonna try to hold it. So at this point the Darius should have tried to deny the, the holding, like the hold of the, of the wave. Um, but it stays, so it's fine. Also, Darius is aware that the Zac should be top side right now. So he's very exposed to ganks, and I, I'm gonna assume that he warded here. Okay, he did not. I don't think this is a good ward. I mean, this is not the best ward, at least, uh, against Zack. Because Zack, especially when you are in that one spot here, Zack is gonna gank you from here. So what you should do is that you should be going up there, warding around here, and then take the plant to go back into the river. This way you can stay here without being surprised by the gank there. So he's gonna try to force the wave crash and I'm, I'm gonna assume that he went, he goes back to base once he gets the, the full wave there. The Darius should just go B. It looks like it, but then if you are Raven right there, you are not aware of that. You are thinking that Darius maybe went back to base, but you don't feel safe. And I'm gonna assume that, yeah, okay, so Bult is gonna stay on this side of the lane, yep. And I don't think he's gonna use his cooldowns to farm the wave either. At least that's what I would do. I would stay there and just auto attack. Because if you play against Darius, something they love to do is to stay in the bushes and try to go for the kill. So what you do is that you stay on this side of the lane. So if they get out of the bush, you can just like walk to this one safe spot. Um, and you don't want to use your spells to farm up because if you do, basically Darius is just gonna wait for you to use your spell. Because once he sees that you has you have no Q and no stun anymore, he can just get out of the bush and just kill you. So as you can see, Bult has been waiting. Yeah, okay. Now he uses his spells, but that's only because he waited a, lot, a long time. Right there. You, you can see that he walks on this side and then he just auto attacked for a long time because he's he doesn't he does not feel safe right now. He doesn't feel safe, but now he started to use his spells because it's been a long time, so there was no chance for the Darius to stay. I mean, the Darius could have, could have stayed, but that would have been a waste of time. So now the Darius uh, is going to have a, a slow push back to build side. So we're going to speed it up. Okay, so there's still kill opportunities for build, especially since he's going to get level 6 and has Igniter. But he has to be careful if he plays properly there's still a chance for him to win the lane right there so as you can see he stays on this one side of the of the lane like i said earlier it, it, he's never gonna be farming on this side or even in the middle always on the side from the from the, the river because he doesn't want to get cheesed by the Darius that could just like come out of the bush right there and just like ghost on him or whatever okay okay so now there's maybe a chance for, for or even to get a kill here. It depends on the answer. If the Darius fucks up... Yep, okay, he fucked up. He should die here. Yeah, he's, de he's dead. Wait. Oh, shit. Okay, so... Okay. 
I know that a lot of people would be laughing or even like saying that, like, oh my god, this guy is so bad. Well, let's let's be let's be honest. Like, we all did that in our life, and we still do. Like, we we keep on missing wind slashes, like a lot of the time, especially against people that play Ghost or Nimbus Clock. Uh, I still have PTSD of when I missed that one against fucking perks. Uh, <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm gonna explain to you why uh, Darius played the fight poorly. I mean, obviously build fucked up as well, but technically this should have been a, a win for Evan. The reason I fucked up is because Bult used his E to go into the middle of the queue, so that's why he took less damage and the Darius doesn't get the healing. So that's a good play from him. But then the Darius fucks up by using the pull here. He pulls Riven when she still has her Q, like all of the Qs, and her stun available, plus ultimate and ignite. At this moment, you auto win the fight as Riven. You, on, like, you only lose, like when you get pulled by Darius, you only lose if you have no CD. But here, Riven has everything. And the Darius did not even cancel the third Q with the pull. Like this pull is just a death sentence for Darius. I mean, it should be, as you can see, technically the, the Darius should have lost here. But then Bult took a bit too long. I mean, he wanted to add one extra auto attack before landing the, the wind slash, but I guess he just underestimated the ghost. Yeah, it, he just, I think he just underestimated the ghost right there, because he used he's used to that one combo where you just auto wind slash. But in this case, uh, wind slash auto attack would have been safer. Because right there, you see that when he starts casting the wind slash, it's still in range, but the Darius is like way too fast, 482 mov movement speed. That's just very unlucky, honestly. But, uh, yeah, the right play there would have been to um, wind slash auto attack instead of uh, auto attack wind slash, just because of the ghost. If the Darius had no ghost, that would have been the, the right combo to do. But uh, in that case, that uh, that wasn't lucky. There was still a chance for him to kill him, even after missing the wind slash, uh, I think. So right there. Once he misses the wind slash, I think he still could have killed him. If he keep if he kept on walking up, because he's gonna walk away, but then he's gonna take the Q. At this point, I think if Build walked up to him, there was, nah, I mean he has way too much CD. Like even if he walks in, there was way more chances of winning by walking up uh, than surviving by walking away. But yeah, that, that's uh, that's kind of tricky. That's the kind of situation you hate being uh, being in. Like once you miss the wind slash right there, it's like. You hate your life so much. I, I know that kind of, situa of situation way too much, man. That's unlucky. I, I'm surprised the Darius actually did that, by the way, because I mean, I know Wow, because uh, he's a French streamer, and I know that he's, he's pretty good at the game. I mean, he's challenger, so of course he is. Like, um, I'm surprised that he used his pool when Riven had, had everything up. Because this should be common, common knowledge that in this matchup, if you just pull Riven for no reason, uh, she's gonna fuck you up, especially especially with ignite and ultimate. Because if she if she had no R or no ignite, that would have been an okay pull, I think. But uh, the fact that she had both R and ignite makes it so bad for him. He got lucky that uh, build kind of fucked up as well. But uh, yeah, in a normal situation, you don't want to do that uh, as the, as Darius. So now it does a slow push. This is gonna be tricky because technically Darius should be able to freeze the wave here. So this is the kind of moment you hate to be in as Riven. Right there, the Darius is gonna hold the wave, so you can't actually farm up. There's not, there's not much you can do. You can't deny the freeze. Technically, the only way you have to break the freeze is to call your jungler for help. And even then, sometimes uh, you can get 1v2. It depends on the matchups and stuff. So... Yeah, there's not much he can do right there. All he can do is to try to get the minions, uh, the melee minions. Farming with Qs, most likely. Okay, okay, so the Darius fucked up. By trying to Q on Riven, he fucked up the wave. So the wave is gonna be stop pushing back to Riven, and she's gonna be able to, to catch some CS. The Darius should not have queued the wave here unless he wants to move, which seems to be the case there. That's maybe why he queued the wave. That's yeah, I think that's why he actually killed the wave. So, 
Bult is maybe gonna try to hold the wave there so he gets to farm in the tower. Okay, so now wait, hold up. Why does he push that? Okay, I need to see why. Uh, did he see the Darius going like going mid or something? That will explain why he would be pushing that. Mm, there. Okay, that's why. Okay. He, so he sees that the Darius wants to go for the uh, like the, the play here. So he starts pushing the wave. And then when he sees that Darius committed to the fight, he he has to one shot the wave there. Because if, if he does not push the, the wave as fast as he can, it's gonna be a slow push and then it's gonna collapse here. So the Darius is gonna be able to freeze. But if he just one shots the wave, it's gonna be crashing in our tower, which will be the best play for him. So yeah, he's gonna crash the wave. It's gonna crash under tower right there. So maybe like Beard could be going back to base now, unless uh, yeah, he has enough gold to be like double long sword maybe. Okay, so he doesn't go B, and now he can't go B anymore because the wave has been killed. Uh, so there's not much he can do right now. All he can do is to wait for the wave to crash under tower and catch the wave. He tries to hold the wave. So it doesn't fully crash in the tower. Okay, that, so now he's gonna go for a short trade. Yep. So like I said earlier, like when I said earlier that um, they used should use the pool when the Riven first queues. He, I mean, he can't trade back this time, this one time, like he did earlier, because right now he has nothing. Like the only thing he has is the stun and the first queue. So. All he can do is to try to take a, a short trade with third Q to attack stun. Third Q to attack stun, and as I said earlier, he goes back instantly. He does not add one more to attack because he doesn't want to get one more stack of passive. That would be risky. So stun into disengage. But maybe he's gonna have a potential opportunity to go in now. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's see the cooldowns. Okay, so. When Bult gets his W back up, or almost back up, like two seconds of cooldown, there's a high chance that he, he tries to go for the kill there if the Darius stays. The reason why is because Darius he just used his pool, so there's still a long cooldown on it, and he just used his Q as well. Uh, Bult has Ignite ultimate, so there's a high chance that he tries to punish that. There you go, as I said. Okay, he gets the kill. That's still, that was still super close, by the way. Uh, but I think I know why. So here he waits for the stun to come back up, as I said. He goes for the all-in, ignite. And then you can see that he holds his Q for a long time. Right. I mean, he should have used this. Okay, that's interesting. I think it's been a bit... Uh, okay, I think Bult was uh, scared that the, the Darius got the pullback. I mean, there was still a long cooldown on it when he got went in. Hold on. There. There was still 10 seconds of cooldown. I think he was scared that the pool was back up because you can see that he holds his third Q for a long time. But I think it could have just maybe like stunned into third Q. Because now. It oh, I just waited for the flash too. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. I, I just didn't think about it. He waited for the flash actually, not the, not the pool. I mean, maybe but I don't know Whoa. like because sometimes when you play a game and you are thinking about something you don't always realize how long it's been since a spell has been used for example sometimes I'm like okay Fiora has no parry anymore but it's been already like 20 seconds and I thought it was like 10 seconds so in this case I think he was trying to be careful about both the flash and the hook that's why he held his spells for so long but in the end, I think at the end it was just like, okay, fuck it, he doesn't seem to be flashing. So that's why it's been so close. Because he's been holding his spells, expecting a flash or a pull. And... Yeah, that's why. I think he just had to, like, stun and then fuck you right away. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's so hard to predict some stuff sometimes. I mean, it still worked out, so it's, uh, you know, it's it's what matters. But yeah, I think we've seen enough on, on this game, because we've seen the most important stuff. Uh, you know how to abuse uh, the Darius cooldowns. So level 1, we saw that Bult went for the trade. 
um, he went for the trade because um, uh, Darius used this cure. So well, let, let, let's just you know what? Let's just go back there. This was around like one forty-five or something like that. So the first key point of this game was the level one. Level one, Darius uses his Q. We dodge it with the Q, and then we can fight back. We can actually fight back. We take a very short trade. We don't auto attack before he's engaging because we don't want to take the extra auto attack and the extra passive stack. Then we get level two. We take our stun because we are in range to go in. We go for the trade. He gets level two. We either disengage or then we go for the all-in, but then we play the 50-50 and we hold our third Q until the pool has been landed which was not the case in this scenario. This is the only reason why he died, by the way. He would have killed the Darius if he held the third Q, which was unlucky. But yeah, if he actually landed the third Q there, he, there's a high chance that he would have killed him. So that's why you always want to hold your third Q. And the other key point, so that, that's not even related to the matchup. But there, we know that the jungler is topside because it's uh, in the like the three minute mark when the jungler has started bot. So we know that he's topside. So now you want to go back into the XP range by hiding into the bushes. This way, you are less exposed to the ganks because if they don't see you in the lane, they're not gonna think that they can gank you. So you just show up, you get the XP, you try to last it as you can, you stay, you stay back until you have the information. And then around four minutes of the game, basically the jungler should be recalling back to base and going to the other side of the map. So there's that. And then the other key point was, I think, stay, okay, yeah, the other key point was staying on the other side of the lane. There. Never go near the bushes. Always stay on the other, like, stay on this side of the lane. And then if you are not sure that the Darius went back, don't use your spells to farm up. You want to keep on auto attacking that right there and only use your spells when you feel like it should be fine and that the Darius is B. There, go back to base, um, then we speed it up. We get to push the wave there. We stay on this side of the lane so we don't get cheesed. Because like, even if we saw the Darius right there, we saw Darius going into the river, at any point, Darius just comes back from the tri bush, goes into this one bush, goes from the alcove and then hides, like hides here. I mean, that would be insane to do that, but that would work if the, the Riven like stays here, you know? So that's why build stays on this side of the lane. So here, okay, so like, technically we should be punishing the Darius for using a shitty, shitty, uh, shitty pool. Well, unfortunately that does not happen, but that's only because build, uh, Messed up with the wind slash, unfortunately. But yeah, technically Darius should be dead right there, just because he did such a, a shitty grab. Yeah, I think even if he walked up and didn't take the Q, like there's so much CD there, he would not be able to turn that around. And then it's most most like it's. I mean, it's basically the same thing that's gonna happen again afterwards. Um, Darius is go Darius is gonna use a shitty pool. And then he's gonna use his Q, so Bult is gonna be able to use that as an opening for uh, for the kill. Uh, so yeah, basically against their use, you just want to be patient. You don't want to force fight. You want to abuse the like the waste of cooldown on his end. So um, don't force too hard onto their use. You just want him to fuck it up. There's a lot of mechanics I could show you against their use, and I think I'm gonna do that in a video later. But it's uh, it's basically st like the mechanics like Q dancing. I mean, not technically Q dance, but sometimes you want to fake that you're walking up, so you want to bait the hook. But at the same time that you walk up, you want to turn back and to Q back. This way, you can bait the, the like the pool, but at the same time you've dashed away at the same time, so you won't be you won't be pulled, and then you just baited like the 20 seconds cooldown. Uh, it's something. A bit like I wouldn't say it's hard, but if you're not used to do that, it can be tricky. But yeah, I think we've saw, uh, we saw what you need to do in order to abuse the Darius. Unfortunately, this was not the 
best outcome in this specific game, but I've seen we saw enough, uh, like we saw enough of the mistakes or the, like not even just the mistakes, but like the, the stuff you can abuse, like he abused the, the shitty pool twice in this game. And I think that's a pretty good example to show you how to beat Darius. Uh, so you have to keep in mind that even if a challenger like WoW manages to fuck up, uh, this is going to happen in your gold, platinum, diamond, or even master games. Like uh, I see, I still see that happening in a lot of ELO, uh, even when I watch like challenger streams. So uh, yeah, this is how you're going to beat Darius player. I hope this was helpful. And I hope to see you in the next video and don't hesitate to leave a comment uh, if you appreciate the, that type of content. Uh, it's always nice to, to have some feedback. So, peace out, boys.